the red flags to watch out for while dating or while looking for a spouse yeah and hope you'll contribute on the comment section down below some relationships do take a lot of work yeah and like for me my last relationship it really took a lot of work but i think we should look into it by having healthy relationships hmm, thriving and more fruitful yeah and having a clear vision yeah. for example mostly the ones who are single like me and are at dating phase and maybe you're trying to figure out if if this relationship with this person the right thing for me yeah so i've decided so that i've decided to talk about different characteristics and qualities to look for to look for in a person as you decide decide who you want to spend the rest of your life with I tell you guys that is a really long time <laughs> and it should be a good decision if you are not new to this type of relationships or any relationship for that matter so first of all um, i'll say like ladies or even men out there just know your worth and don't settle for less yeah and most of all do not ignore and i repeat do not ignore the red flags that go up in the beginning of the relationship like i did i saw the red flags but i ignored most of them and look where i am now <laughs> it's best to give an example that i've experienced yeah so it's not bad it's 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 not a bad thing to or to refer myself because I've experienced, I've, sh I've seen the red flags, I ignored them completely. Yeah, and this is why it led me here. But I don't re have no regrets. It's part of life. Yeah. And how to don't ignore them because most people, they. They know them out of fear. Yeah, I say it out of fear of not find out of fear of not finding anybody else, and they fear they be they remain alone for the rest of their life. So I tell you, God's time is the best. And if you find yourself in such a relationship, guys, just put God first. And ask him, please, guys, keep praying and ask the good Lord to give you to give you discernment and clarity. Yeah, God gives. I tell you, if you ask him, he will deliver. It, he will give it to you. He will give you the right guy. He'll show you the right guy. So just pray and hope that and the lord will guide you that's all i can say nowadays that's what i do when i find someone i pray for i pray to god for the discernment and clarity and most of it helps yeah hmm. so i leave it up to you and the second one is ask yourself if you are really in this or in that relationship or because you're not happy being alone you can be alone and find yourself and you'll be amazed you'll really be amazed what you'll find about yourself if you just give yourself your, yourself time and learn more about what you really want and please ladies or men out there please don't decide to kind of date anyone 
because you are unsure of your own self worth. That's what I can say. Just don't get in a relationship out of fear or you are just scared of being alone. I know it sometimes gets lonely, but I assure you if you go into a relationship with that mentality, girl, it will not be good for you. Are you really in this relationship person because because maybe you're in that relationship for you've invested so much in that relationship and you fear that if you leave that person i won't end up with anybody you know because you've been there for so long you break up out of fear of getting hurt no that is not good even in the relationship is okay that's why i'm saying when you are out of a relationship you have to to heal you let yourself heal first then you start with a new relationship that's where the fear of breakup comes from go to the qualities you can write down before going on a date maybe you've met that person online Write down, down a non-negotiable list and give it to your friend. So, the qualities that you're looking for in a spouse, like for example, does he prioritize his time, his personal relationship with the Lord? There is nothing more important than that. Wow. Guys, we are all imperfect and and at some point you have you, you and your spouse or your partner or your boyfriend will get into disagreements you have fights yeah you fight with them not you have fights you will fight with your spouse of course trials trials are going to come your way so using the person that you're gonna fight with you've got to like that person even after the fight so choosing a godly man is very important what i'm saying is the greatest hate in a person is somebody who is correctable and you can correct him and you'll understand you know and they're teachable they're willing to learn their willingness to learn and to understand you and admit they are wrong and at the end of the day they will work things out and it will be a very healthy relationship and more fruitful if the other person that you're dating or even you yourself you have the willingness to understand what the other person is saying yeah if if you get that in your relationship getting to understand each other and the willingness to learn and hear what the other person is saying that will be a good thing and if you don't find that in the other person those are red flags and uh, this person's actions will show you how they, they treat you so ask yourself so this will get you questioning yourself and then you can even ask them are they really interested in your life or if they are really interested in your life by the way they treat you the way they ask you questions are they really interested in your background where you grew up how your background was family, your community, how people interact, how you people interact, your friends, yeah. that one will tell you more about how they view you. And then the, if they are interested in supporting you or do, if they are interested in supporting you or do they really want you? for a few reasons so guys you have to look into 
the value inside a relationship. You have to look into this the things I'm talking about and you can also add some of them. Yeah. And before I continue and you're watching and you haven't liked please give this give this video a thumbs up if you really like the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and uh, please don't stop don't skip the advertisements <laughs> yeah guys they really help us a lot sometimes even if you like I'm, and comment i feel really appreciated your value to that person and feel free to ask them what do they value not only in you but in the relationship yeah that's nice you can get into relationship maybe that guy or that lady is interested or value they value things like your physical appearance like looks the pretty or if you have money or not or if you have money and your cool personality what they get get from you that's where the question is let me ask you what if all that changes they be there with you yeah those are the red flags <laughs> guys you don't have to be obsessed about everything that other person loves Hmm? and you don't love like if the guy loves football you don't like football if you don't like don't be obsessed be upset that you love that because I love you just be yourself another one is you don't have to agree with everything they say because Maybe they make it wrong and you're right. So if you're right and then because it's wrong and you don't want to Nini It's not a must. You have to be yourself, be free in a relationship. Get to know their relationship with their friends and community and see how they interact with people in that community in his community because because you are going to be doing life with the person god willing yeah. that is saying show me, your, show me your five friends and i'll tell you who you are like do look at do look at his closest friends hey. <coughs> that they have mentors in his life and then another one is we need to we need to desire to be with people who want to sacrifice for us what i mean is are they willing to go an extra mile or i'm just a convenience to them <laughs> or just an easy access to them <laughs> or do they text me whenever <laughs> whenever they are free or they need something and they know they'll be there so <laughs> or do they set aside intentional time to say hey I want to take you out and treat you out hey yeah, guys oh. or do they love you without your ability to pursue them like, hmm. like you have to be the one who calls you the one who reaches them and you know you understand what i'm saying guys now the most important thing is do do they respect your boundaries do they because this will be the huge, this will be a huge red flag. This will be a huge red flag. More so if you have laid down. 
if you have laid out your boundaries someone who doesn't like your boundaries that is bad and of course you've already laid out to them that would not be respect also and they don't value you that is a huge red flag so watch out very important out on them because there is a big difference between being right and being loving put aside the pride and not just plead facts so people are not gonna be perfect people are not perfect we are not perfect but with the willingness to learn and work on things together and reconcile which makes a relationship much easier and thriving and more fruitful and we won't be experiencing many divorces of single people out there if people are willing to just understand each other and willingness to learn it's as simple as that so guys hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment down below give us the thumbs up subscribe if you, subscribe if you haven't so bye for now